The Florida Project. Kissimmee, Florida, a little boy named Dicky, Aiden Malik, runs to his friends Mooney, Brooklyn Prince, and Scooty, Christopher Rivera, and brings them to a nearby motel, Future Land. The three kids run up to the second floor balcony and start spitting on a car. The car's owner, Stacy, Josie Olivo, comes out and reprimands the children, just as Mooney spits on Stacy's granddaughter Jancy, Valeria Cotto. Stacy goes to the Magic Castle Motel where the kids stay. She gets the manager, Bobby, Willem Dafoe, to knock on the door of Mooney's room. Her mother Hallie, Bria Vinate, answers and is told by Bobby about the issue. The kids are then forced to go clean up Stacy's car. Hallie and Mooney live at the Magic Castle for an extended stay, since they are poor, as are most of the other residents in the motel, including Scooty and his mother Ashley, Mella Murder, who works at a restaurant and hooks Mooney up with free food for her and her mom. Hallie previously worked as a stripper, but was fired after a couple of days, and is struggling to come up with rent money. Mooney and Scooty go out to play and go look for Dickie, but his father has him grounded for the spitting incident. The kids then go to Future Land and invite Jancy to hang out with them. They walk across the strip and go to an ice cream shop, where they ask for change from strangers so that they can share a single ice cream cone. A tourist couple arrive at the motel by mistake, since they meant to get booked at the Magic Kingdom Hotel next to the Disney parks, but instead got sent to the crummy motel. The kids spend their summer break together around the motel or the general neighborhood. They spy on a woman sunbathing topless, just as Bobby comes by to tell the woman to cover up. On another occasion, the kids sneak into the maintenance room and turn off the power to the motel, causing everyone to get angry since it's a hot day. Bobby must run to the room and flip the power back on. Dickie and his father leave the motel and they give the other kids some of his old toys before saying goodbye to his friends. Mooney, Jancy, and Scooty go play by an abandoned house where they start breaking things and messing around. Scooty uses a lighter he stole and sets fire to a pillow under a chimney. This causes a big fire that spreads throughout the house. The kids run back to their homes to avoid getting in trouble. The other Magic Castle residents head over to see the house burning as firefighters try to put it out. Ashley suspects Scooty of being involved and she forbids him from hanging out with Mooney anymore. In response to Ashley's new rule, Hallie brings Mooney to the restaurant where she works and makes Ashley take her order and bring them a lot of food, which Mooney quickly eats. Hallie then makes Ashley pack the uneaten food to go, but Hallie just tosses it on the walk back to the motel. While painting outside the motel, Bobby notices an old man, Charlie, Carl Bradfield, wandering where the kids are playing. Suspicious, Bobby approaches him and asks Charlie what he's doing around there. He claims to have been looking for a soda machine, so Bobby takes him to one. After getting him his soda, Bobby smacks it out of Charlie's hand and aggressively sends him away, even going as far as to taking Charlie's wallet, so he gets his name, to call into the sheriff's office. Hallie takes Mooney around town selling perfume, so she can round up some money. This stops when they come across a country club, and a security guard catches them. The guard tries to get Hallie, to go to the office, to wait for the cops, but Hallie tries to make off with her bag of perfume before the guard pulls it and takes some of the perfume that falls out. Hallie then starts selling discount tickets to theme parks. Hallie then starts secretly working as a prostitute while keeping Mooney hidden. One of the Johns, Macon Blair, tries to confront Hallie at her room over some bands he thinks she stole that were for his family. Bobby comes by to settle the issue, indicating he knows what Hallie's been doing, but he speaks on her defense and sends the John away. However, Bobby orders Hallie to have any visitors of hers check in at the front desk. Hallie throws a fit and follows Bobby into the lobby, where he threatens to kick her out if she doesn't leave the lobby. She does so but then sticks a used menstrual pad on the window. Bobby tries to set Hallie and Mooney up at another motel, the Arabian Nights, which is supposed to have a cheaper staying price. When Hallie gets there, one of the managers tells her that the price has been raised by $10. Hallie makes a scene again and forces Bobby to go there to talk to the managers. Bobby offers to pay the coverage, but the managers are so disgusted with Hallie and Mooney's behavior that they refuse to allow them to stay. Back at the Magic Castle, Hallie goes to Ashley's room to try and make amends, but also to ask her to spot her for rent money. Ashley tells her everyone in the motel knows about her prostituting herself and threatens her if she finds out Scooty was up there while Hallie did that. Hallie responds by attacking Ashley and hitting her until she gets a black eye. After taking Mooney to the dining hall for breakfast, Hallie returns to her room to find child services agents and two police officers at her door. 
They are investigating her work as a prostitute and are going to send Muni to live with the foster family. Muni is brought to Ashley's room to say bye to her and Scooty. Hallie starts to act aggressively toward the agents and officers, just as Muni is resisting one of the social workers trying to calm her down and take her away. Muni runs away, leading the agents and officers to go looking for her. Muni runs to future land to Jancy's room. She starts crying and is unable to say what's wrong. Jancy takes Muni's hand and runs away with her, going all the way to Disney World and running to the Magic Kingdom.